Welcome back with an update on the drought. So, just going to go dive right in. West Coast, it's not looking good. Um, I don't see anything coming in this winter as this La Nina is just getting stronger. Um, but the Northwest, this may be all white by March. Don't quote me on that, but it may be all white up here by March. Um, let's go Midwest. Improvements. There's some improvements. Have more systems going on through. There's going to be even more improvements. Um, there actually should be a system coming in today. Um, and I'm, my county's completely out of drought. And with the system that came in yesterday and today, I'm just seeing more, more improvements. Um, coming in um, south E just south um, not a lot of improvements for Texas um, but yeah this may get worse for the south right now but actually with the systems going on through you guys should be doing fine n n like like this time ne next week should see some improvements in Texas along with other parts of the south Southeast also got, could see some improvements with the potential for severe weather tomorrow for parts of Florida and the Carolinas. Um, northeast, a lot of improvement, a lot of improvement, and there's only going to be more improvement throughout the winter. Um, Alaska, not much change, but I could see improvements coming in. Hawaii has a whole bunch of improvements on some of the islands. In fact, all the islands. So this this state may be, well, that state may be drought-free by the end of the year. Well, by the end of next year. Puerto Rico has a little bit of dryness. And the Virgin Islands, no longer drought-free. St. Croix is having a little bit of a drought issue. No, issue. Uh, and then over here. Uh, these islands here. Okay, so data is out for two islands, and Keping Gamarangi is still dealing with the worst case scenario with drought. But nonetheless, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.